I think separates, separates me maybe from a lot of the other people that we've had on here is the fact that I came from like a striking background and my style of jujitsu is jujitsu for what if real life fighting, right? Not necessarily for like the game of the competition so much. Um, so my style is what if they can punch me? What if all those things? Uh, so that's kind of what I wanted to cover. I will touch on two other things because uh, some of the guys asked me to touch on them. Something uh, that I like is the joystick of pain, I call it, this like mounted triangle position. So the guys were asking if I could cover that. Uh, and then this uh, Kimura trap, if I have a moment, I'll try and cover that. But I, I wanted to, I'm gonna use Milan uh, and we're gonna talk quickly about striking distance and management, right? If they can punch me in the face, right? And, and I think it's super important. We do it here maybe three, four times a year at least, put on gloves and let somebody try to punch you with control so that your jujitsu, if, if you've never had that happen, it falls apart, right? Daniel could probably attest to that, right? And all the jujitsu you know, as soon as you get hit, you're like, blah, 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 blah. so you have to train it like that with striking involved on occasion. Um, so this is some of the things, I'm gonna stand back here. Hopefully you guys can hear me. If not, just kind of let me know and, and tell me to, to talk louder, okay? So what I want to do is uh, talk about distance, right? So I'm obviously much longer than she is, right? Like I could punch her and she couldn't punch me. However, this, this distance, she could kick me, right? And maybe she could find that space to, to punch me, right? So again, using this symbology, right? I want to be, or she, we're gonna, she's going to be the good guy. I'm going to be the bad guy in this scenario. She, she wants to either have me in the blue circle or out here outside. And what I mean by that is there's a circle around her, okay? So there's a small blue circle, then white, and then red. The white and red, maybe I can punch or kick her from that white or red circle. So outside of that, neither one of us can punch or, or hit each other. Does that make sense, right? So she needs me way out here, or she needs me way in here so that if I do punch, of course I can hit her, but it's going to take away a lot of the, the sting from those punches, right? So the strikes are not as hard. Okay, so if she just hangs out in this space, right, it's not good for either one of us because there's always the, you know, the lucky shot that, that could knock out a well-trained fighter, right? So we need to work on this space. So a couple of the things she can do to mitigate that is to keep me, you'll see some of the old like Gracie challenges, right, where they do this cut kick kind of sidekick thing to the leg, no skip, just face right so they're going to be kicking here right what that does is it keeps me away and outside of that striking range so i can't punch her right if she lets me get close i can punch so by to keep me away she's going to use her front leg to kind of right at my knee just chopping me down so i can't get too close to her. does that make sense guys you good right so that space is super important now again you saw what happened if she kicks me and then she lands in that space i can punch Right? So she has to be aware of her distance after she does something. So she always has to kind of kick, keep her head away, keep that space away from me so that I can't try to punch her from here. Now, what is she's doing that? She's keeping me at that distance, okay? So I can't punch. As soon as she comes down, right, I might try to go forward. Now, you guys see this distance? This is where I have to punch to. I'm going to punch to here, right? Punch you to here. She doesn't want to hang out right there. She either has to go back. But that can only be so many because she's going to run into my couch or fence or somebody else. So after she does that, she has to come forward, right, and wrap up. If she can wrap up my arm, the other arm, you see she wraps here, great. If not, fine. But again, she's inside this space, okay, so that she's, she's nice and close. So I can't make a huge amount of damage here. Now, she's not going to hang out here very long. Now, she has to get me to the ground to nullify the, the strength, okay? So she's going to clench at the lower back okay and you see what i, I don't want you to use the side of your head i want you to use the forehead she's going to find a high point here and then clench here so i can't go too far forward and then she can use her leg to trip or to clench and boom and she's going to knock me down pretty easily with that okay so this, i'm just going to kind of show i'm finding a high point and then holding her low point right so if i just hold this and push long enough she's going to fall Right? So what she's doing to me is driving under my chin with her head, right? Now, if she's much significantly shorter, she can just drive in here uh, and fold me. And, and if I get to this point and I still haven't fallen, she trips, boom, and I'm for sure gonna fall. Okay, maybe I get a step or two, but I'm gonna fall, she's gonna end up on top, okay? 
that make sense? So like I was telling her, I don't want you guys to use the side of your head like this. I want you to use your forehead and make that happen. Okay, and drive through them. Kind of mean, right? All these things are mean, but imagine the, what the scenario, she has to be mean back, okay? Because I'm being mean to her. So she, she does this high, low, hip, clench, trip. She gets into a, a punch position, okay? So that she's in a dominant position, she can control me, all that stuff. Now, what I wanted to cover is a couple of other punch protection positions. So we're gonna talk about, we talked about standing, I wanna talk about mount guard, all those other things. So let's say I mount her, okay? Can I change that real quick? Okay, if I mount her, this is something that a lot of times in jujitsu people don't realize is super important, okay? And that's inside control, okay? Inside control is very important. So let's say I have my hands here and she reaches, this way, right? To try and do a bump and roll. I can still punch and elbow her because she's under my arm, right? So she may think, grab my back. Like, I can still punch and elbow and create space here, right? So she needs inside control. Go ahead, do it right. This, this way, right? So this is what she's looking at. So here, now, how is she gonna make this happen? She needs my hands busy, not busy punching her, but busy here, right? Okay, she needs my hands on the floor. I'm not gonna hang out there. So she has to constantly be bumping, right? And both her hands go to the inside, okay? One is gonna swim all up and over, boom, and trap, okay? Now, if we have a partner, she's gonna trap that arm and give me a second to hide my hand. Because if I leave my hand here and she bumps and rolls, she's gonna hurt my wrist, okay? So when you're training, make sure you give them a moment to like hide their wrist. Now, again, same thing goes with this one. This one goes to the inside, okay? A couple of key points on this second hand, okay? You see she's using her form on my bicep to slow down some of the forward motion and her hands on my tricep to kind of mitigate some of the pullback backwards. Right? So I never get a really good, strong, big punch, right? If she misses that, let go, then I can raise up to really get a, a good pop, right? So by hanging on here. Now, third thing in this arm is the elbow. If I can, if she's lazy with her elbow, I can just swim inside and strike. So she has to keep her elbow in so that I can't get that. So going back, let's start from the beginning. She's gonna bump. Swim and trap, give me a moment to trap, and then her other arm's inside so that I can't effectively punch hard. Now, she traps my foot, keeps her feet close to her butt, and then bump hard and up and over, okay? And now she can strike or disengage, whatever, whatever situation you feel like is important, okay? Questions with that one, guys? So a lot of little details. So unless you've been punched in the face, and there's an old adage about that where people would say, you know, you punch a purple belt in the face, they become a blue belt. You punch them again, they become a white belt, right? So once you've been punched a few times, you realize like how important that inside grip is and then control, okay? Don't go up and over so their hand is here. I need to swim and block the inside so that I can trap that arm, okay? So far, so good. All right, next is from guard, okay? Yeah. Uh, Milan and I have this uh, video on, on YouTube from this one position, talking about three different defenses from a long time ago, I think we did it, uh, where she's able to like escape, uh, she does own plot as triangle, so I'll cover a quick version of that. But again, the idea is she's gonna use her legs to make sure that I don't have good posture to punch, right? You guys, this is where Jiu Jitsu started, if you see how we just showed like that cut kick, the clinch, the grapple, the takedown, and then work, right? But always, Managing the distance of the punch, okay? Punch protection. So she's gonna use her legs to help, and again, inside control, okay? So come back. If she tries to reach under me here, I can pry her face off and punch her elbow, right? With either side. So she needs inside control, always inside, okay? Remember, in jujitsu, the principles are the same. So keep your friends close, keep your elbows closer, right? Never out here, never reaching, right? Here and here. Okay, she can reach once she pulls me in, boom, up and over. So she's collected this arm. I can still punch here, so what's she gonna do? Same principle, three things. Forearm on my bicep, hand on the tricep, 
and then elbow inside so that I can't swim in to, to get really good power on her punch, to punch her with. Now, flat on her back is not the best position. Okay, this is still bad for her. I can still use power to like create space and, and punch her. So what she needs to do is get to her side. Okay, so she's gonna put her heel there, go ahead, and then scoot out, and then put her toes in the other side. Okay, your heel in the foot. So now, go ahead and grab my head. She's gonna hug me. She's gonna hug my head so that I can't posture. Now, an important part of this, if you guys see, she's on her side, her toes are in this hip. I don't know if you guys can see this, it turns out. Okay? She's on her side like this, so her heel's here, so that I can't move forward. She can use her, her legs are strong. So she can use her legs to push me off, to kick, things like that. Right now we're working on keeping me close, right? And mitigating that damage. It's the same thing when we're standing, right? So either she wants me far away or really, really close, right? So. This is gonna keep me and allow me her to get away from me, but right now we're working on staying close. So when I punch, she uses her legs to pull me in, boom, trap, I try to punch, she collects, and now hangs onto the head. And what's this, right? She's super close. One thing I wanna mention real quick, guys, you see what she's doing? She's using her elbow and not her hand. If she uses her hand and I break free, right, she doesn't have any other secondary measure, right? If she grabs with her elbow, and I break free, she still has her hand. Make sure, right, so she has two layers with this, okay? So she's got me here, she's snuggle head, so I can't really make, do a whole lot of damage. I can grab it, punch her, but not much, right? Now she has several options in terms of how to attack me, okay? So let's say I break away to really punch, she can throw a triangle, okay, boom, right? If I don't break away and she's still here, Okay, she can almost blot him. If that's her thing, push my face, boom, and attack the old blot. Right? So now we're back to jujitsu, but from those good positions of her, right? She's again not flat on her back. Last but not least, right? If you want to teach your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever, this sort of thing, right? The other thing she can do is just get out of the way. So she pushes, kick, 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 pushes on the way. Boom. Don't, I don't want you to get up, I want you to kick and push her. Okay. So she can create space. Now, let, of course, I'm gonna be aggressive, right? I'm trying to come forward. Now, real quick, before we, we did two, three things in, at one time. So here, her arm is straight. If her arm is bent, I'm stronger than her. I'm gonna come forward. If her arm is straight, even if I'm stronger than her, she, I can't go forward. Now, when we're really doing this, guys, this is matters, and she's gonna be digging in my eyeballs and everything, okay? Mean stuff. She's gonna be mean here. Okay, now she got her arm locked. She's gonna scoot herself away and now start kicking and stomping and pushing, kicking me in the face, kicking me in the chest, create that space and then do her technical stand up. Okay, she needs to ensure that she has plenty of space. If she tries to get up too early. I'm just gonna tackle her legs and put her back on the ground. Got it? So far, so good. I know I'm covered a ton of stuff, guys. Hopefully, you guys get a chance to like watch this again. Now, I wanted to cover one other thing and that is side control. So let's say that I have her in side control, right? I'm the bigger, stronger person, and I have her here. But punches are allowed, right? So I can punch her, here. boom, this is horrible for her, right? Her head's gonna bounce up. So it's kind of against what we assume in jujitsu, right? And we're gonna protect ourselves, but we're gonna hold them there, but not forever, right? Obviously, you're gonna fatigue if you try to hold them in this position forever if she tries to do that. So what she's gonna do is she's gonna hook my tricep here, and then hook my arm around the other side. So she's holding me here, right? So I can't really like punch her. Now, of course, I'm in a dominant position. I'm in a, a strong position. So I'm gonna break free, right? I'm gonna go Rah! She's gonna use that timing to get that leg in and then put her head away, okay? So how does she do that? As she's gonna hug my arms so that I can't punch and I'm gonna explode out to like really get rid of her. She's gonna use that space to put her knee here and now, what people tend to do is they forget and they try to regard from here. Her head's so close, I can punch her from here. So what she needs to do is move her head away. And now she can use her feet again to create space and kick and get away. Make, sure, make sense, guys? Now let's say the opposite is true. Let's say I'm on bottom and she's on top, okay? But I'm the bad guy, right? So I'm still trying to punch her from down here because I don't know any better, right? And I don't know how to get out. I just know to punch, right? 
So same principle, right? She's gonna snuggle heavy so that I can't get out. She of course is very good at this position, but right, she, she can switch hips and do all sorts of stuff. But the idea is that she has to mitigate the distance and my arms, okay? Now notice a lot of what she's doing is controlling my tricep and bicep, right? If she tries to control my wrist or my, my form, go ahead and try to control my wrist and form, right? I'm gonna get out of that. There's no way she really doesn't have control here. But if she hangs on here, right? Even if my, this part is empty and free to move, there's not a whole lot of damage I'm gonna be able to do. Now, of course, she can let go and create space or elbow herself or knee or, you know, any kind of submission she wants. But again, she's in the top. She still has to maintain this pressure so that she's not susceptible to me trying to hit her or at least in any significant manner, right? Does that make sense, guys? Any questions from all that stuff? So, Cooch, hopefully you get a chance to go back. We missed, we covered standing distance, right? I know we've done it a lot of times with you. Uh, we covered mount, covered guard, um, side control, top and bottom, okay? Uh, there's lots of little subtle details that we, you know, may or may not have missed, but hopefully everybody can, can see all that. Any questions from those positions, guys, about punching and distance? Now, one thing I do want to man uh, mention is even coming from a striking background, I don't hang out here. Let's say we're both striking. Okay, or anybody can strike and stuff's going down, right? Even though I'm good at striking, I'm not gonna sit here and trade punches with somebody or trade kicks with them, right? I'm gonna back, back, back when she's trying to come at me, right? I'm keeping that space. I run out of space, as soon as she comes in, I go all the way in, right? If I get a chance and say I don't wanna engage, I'll again go all the way back out. So I never hang out in that halfway zone for very long, right? I'm all the way out or all the way in with that time in between as quick as I can get, okay? Now, of course, there's different things we can use. We can use the timing of her punch to shoot, right? Let's say she throw a punch at me. I can use that time to get under it, right? Because now her head thing is up. Another thing, that, let's say that she's the good guy this time again, right? She can do the clap tackle, back up a little bit, right? She's run out of space, right? She gets me to blink even for a second, and now she can shoot, right? She just needs that moment of my hands going in a predictable place. Does that make sense, guys? So if my hands go here, she can go under. If my hands go here, she can go high. Same thing, when we do striking, it's the, the idea. As I'm trying to get her to lower her, her hands, right? Here, let's say I'm the good guy in this one. I go like this, I do this. When I did MMA, this was my thing. I go boom, boom, they start blocking, bang, right? That's what I was doing, I want them to block this, right? As soon as they block it, bam, right? So I get them to move their hands in a predictable fashion and then I go somewhere else, right? I go right, 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 and they're like, okay, block the right, and then you go left, right? Or vice versa. You guys good with all that? So hopefully, I think it's super important. I know my guys you know, do it a few times a year, but Randy, for you, if you get a chance, get somebody you trust, right? Put some, put some gloves on, go light, right? It doesn't have to be hard. Doesn't have to be hard, okay? A lot of night can practice this. If I have gloves on, even without gloves, I can slap box. She has to contain that, that space. If she doesn't give me, she gives me too much time, right? Then I'm gonna cause damage. But I don't have to hurt her, but it's important for her to feel that increased heart rate, right? The, the oh crap factor a little bit, right? For you guys to kind of get that panic mode. Heart rate goes up, your jiu jitsu goes down. Because remember guys, we don't raise to the level of our expectation, right? What do we do? We fall to the level of our training, right? So if you don't train it, don't expect to do it, okay? Does that make sense? All right guys, now, the next thing I wanted to cover, any questions before I move on? Anybody, nothing? All right, is the uh, joystick of pain, uh, the joystick, right? So how I get here is, let's say, uh, one very predictable way for me to get here is I do a normal plot on somebody and I let them roll, okay? So let's say that, let's come into my bad art, okay? And I get to an normal plotted position, okay? Boom, here. Now, what I do is, I can hang out here, I can try and finish, but sometimes they're super squirrely or they find their way out, okay?
okay? But I need them again to go in a predictable way. I need them to go where I want them to go. So it's not that I'm stopping your movement. I'm just making them go. It's like a mouse trap, okay? Mm-hmm. Not a mouse trap, but a mouse maze. I've blocked off all the exits except for the one I want them to go down, right? Or maybe two options and both are bad for them, right? So I'm gonna let them roll because I know that's the most common. I let them roll. And now I follow them and I, what I do is I tuck my leg under and I get up and then I clamp down and I just let them roll. And now I have this arm pretty tight, okay? So I'm sitting just like that. Now, from here, of course, I can go to mount, but what I like to do is I step backwards. So I step this way, I look away from them and I bring one leg back and I trap their head. And now I sit on their chest. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Milan do that to me, so that way it's not I'm not squeezing and crushing her too much. Okay. So let's say that she gets me to Amo Plata. Yeah. Okay. Boom. And I'm gonna go this way, just hopefully you guys can see. And I roll out, and she's gonna let me roll and follow me right up. You see what just happened? She still has my arm trapped. She's pulling here. If you have a gi, guys, it's good to just kind of hand pull here. But the other thing is, can you turn this one? Is Kind of what she's doing is holding that elbow up because if that elbow touches the floor, I'm out. If I can get my elbow out of here to touch the floor, she doesn't have me, right? So I'm going to be pushing her away to try to get up. So she needs to keep that here and sit on that shoulder. So now she has me solid, okay? So even though I'm, I'm much bigger, she's got me. So now she can mount, but the best is just to kick this leg back. No, no, don't get up. Okay, let's go this way. Okay, kick this leg back, put it next to my ear, boom. And now she can step up, she's already got the submission. So this is what I call a joystick of pain, right? So my, you see my, it's a monoplata ascension, right? So my arm is trapped right there, bang, and she's got me. Now, there's several other submissions. I think we counted 17, okay? But I'll just go through a couple, having her stay here. Let's say I dig my arm way back in there, and she can't do that thing because now, here, or if I turn on my side, right? It doesn't hurt so much, okay? But she can always put that foot in front of my throat. And now, and now she's got the go-go plata, okay? She has an arm lock, let's turn this way. If she sits on this arm, so this, I don't know, stay, put this one underneath that leg. Right here up against your cap, trap it. No, no, no. Trap it with your calf and your core. Yeah, I'm going to do it to her just so I can show you guys. Okay? So I have my, let's say I have my position here, okay? This is, this is the beginning of what I call the joystick of pain, right? Because I have so many positions. So she was finishing me with this one, which is my favorite. So I want my knee close to her ear, and then I just pinch this. Now, to make this simple is I walk my foot up by her head, and I turn, and that's it. That's all it takes. If she's on her side, this is a little bit harder. So in this case, I'm gonna go through a couple of submissions. I push her head down, I can bring my foot over, push down, and I have the go-go plow. okay? I can also shift my weight, so I put it over her head, and say I don't have the go-go because it's not tight, I just shift off, and now I have an arm lock. See that, it's already there for me. Okay. The other side, here's what, I, here's what I like to do to kind of trick them into it, is this is the arm that she was attacking or that I was just attacking, is I lift this up and I trap it here. I think we lost you. I'm gonna turn you this way again. Okay. Let's say I get to here and I just can't get her to finish. Reach back, wrist lock on this, right? Same thing, I swim through, Kimura, right? Everybody got that? I swim this way, straight arm lock, okay? I have tons of stuff. Here's one of my favorites, super mean. <laughs> Fist right there, and just punch choke, right? Just cuz, right? So all of these angles, guys, 
There's so many things that I can do. Americana on this side, right? So how many did I get through? I don't know, like 10, right? So there's a ton of stuff that you can do from that position. Now, what happens if they roll me out, right? If we can go back one more time. Let's say they're so big and strong, they knock me over. Okay, boom, I just go back to normal blood. And now I have all sorts of attacks here. Okay, arm bars, wrist locks, chokes, bad takes. I think we covered that in one of the other classes, right? Any questions from that position, guys? So the idea is the mounted triangle is what, what it really is. Is I'm not, oh, and of course I can do a triangle, but as a principle, I don't go from the top to the bottom. Okay? If I'm on top, I stay on top. <laughs> if you remember, my mind is a fight, right? I, whatever I habituate, whatever I, I do regularly, I'm going to do in a real fight, so I don't want that to happen, right? I don't want to go from the top to the bottom. Because a lot of times we get there, and this is one of your options, of course, but I don't, I don't do it on purpose. Lift the head, shift the leg under, let them come on top, and then go for the triangle. But I don't go to the bottom. If I'm on top, I stay on top, okay? Because if I'm fighting, I'll just finish the fight right there. But you can do triangle from the top, right? I can, okay, you want me to show you that one, I'll show you. So this is another one that's- you Just twist, right? Yeah, so the biggest thing for the triangle in this position, is let's say I lift her head and I put my leg under. And now this is really hard for a lot of people to finish. Okay, I'm gonna lift, lock. And now what I need to do is make sure that I'm angling it way that way. So I angle, angle, angle. And now I'm gonna push my hips down and in. And I can even pull her head up if I need to. But I'm gonna put pressure. What happens is people try to finish the triangle with their spines lined up to the other person. It's not gonna work. I need to go perpendicular to them and then hit down and look this way so I can stretch myself out, okay, and then squeeze, okay? And of course, I have the arm bar from there, she's telling me, right? From that triangle position, I now have that arm bar as well, right? Stay on top. And probably a wrist wall. I'd rather <laughs> it go wrong and end up still on top than it go wrong and now I'm, I just gave away a good position. Right? Even if I didn't get the submission, I'd rather be on top. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, Cooch, go ahead. Um, when you're on top, the, I know you don't care about rules, but for competition, the f the throat punch yes. choke, is that legal? As long as it's not on the trachea. You're getting the side, right? The carotid? Yeah. Carotid. Good. It's super mean. That guy is not going to give you his phone number or find you on Facebook. <laughs> there, there's not, that's not going to happen if you do that to him. But... Right. It's legal, yes. <laughs> yeah. So I have, you know, technically legal. Yeah. Yeah. It might not work because there's only one carotid. It'll work. It's because it's so much pressure. She's asking, will it work? Will it not work? Because it's only one carotid. And the reason it works is because I still have a little bit of pressure with my knee on the other side. Okay. So because we're here. It's like two half chokes. I'm pinching super tight on this side and I'm punching that way into my own leg the other side. Or I can punch this way if I need to, and her shoulder becomes the, the opposing side. Does that make sense, guys? Right? So I still have tons of stuff. Of course, if they have a gi, I have the gi chokes. Right? I have tons of stuff. I can always slide out, do a paper cutter. I can do cross collar. Right? Lots of, lots of stuff from that position. Okay? Is that good for you guys on that? Uh, I know that's a whole bunch of stuff to digest, guys. I'm just going and going and going and going. Good? Matthew's yeah. absorbing it all, bro. Everybody's in trouble. All right. So the next thing that, that was asked to cover was the Kimura trap. Okay? So one of the coolest, kind of fancy, but cool way to, like, get it that people don't expect is from this position. So she's facing me kind of in a butterfly spot, and I'm trying to pass her guard. Okay? So I can hit the Kimura from right here. If I get a wrist... I got it, right? So my thumb is towards her, right? No, not this way, okay? You see the difference? My thumb is towards her, okay? 
No, yeah. I'm gonna start with the thumb grip to get the initial grip. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dive over and swim through. You see that? So I'm gonna dive over here and I'm gonna be careful because she had a certain this one. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna be careful here, but as soon as I lock up my hands, I take my thumb off. Okay, come back this way. Monkey grip. Yeah, as soon as I so I start with this, thumb towards her. As soon as I go, my thumb comes off. Okay? I go like this. You see my thumb? Watch this thumb. Here. Okay, so I don't yeah. hang out like this because I don't want to get trapped in here. I don't have the power later. Okay? So I want this. No thumbs. Okay? So how this works is I get this. Okay, boom. I reach over and I dive and roll here. Boom. Now we're back to back, back on the floor. Try to get out. Um. As long as I keep her elbow, she can't go anywhere. I got her back. I can get up and get a, a Kimura from here. Get it, arm bars from here. So this is gonna flow everywhere for me, okay? So all I'm doing is going here, dive roll, okay? So I'm gonna go slow, boom. And I roll over the shoulder, boom. So try and turn towards me. She can't turn towards me. All I gotta do is come up. Okay, I have her back. I have arm locks. I have the Kimura. For you guys that have been it, you saw the inverted Kimura sequence that we did. There's a whole bunch of submissions from that upside down Kimura position. Which arm is okay? This one? So turn this. So when I'm here, guys, and I have this Kimura grip, and even if she's in front of me, okay, if I can keep my arm on this part of her arm, I got the position, okay? If I can stay here, I'm good. So I can turn, keep rolling, pull her into me. I can go up and start attacking this way, right? I can fight for the Kimura on this way, boom. Right, swim it through. I have a whole ton of stuff. I even have back takes from here again. Does that make sense, guys? That sequence we'll do another time. There's, that, I thought of that earlier, but it's not the best thing to teach in this format because it's very complicated and, and introverted and things like that. Okay, I mean, uh, entwined, entangled, intricate. Yes, the college kid correcting me. Okay, any other questions guys from these positions? Something I missed or something you wanted to see that had to deal with anything along those three lines? Distance management, uh, the joystick, and Kimura, or anything else, I, I like it all, I don't care. I try never to be um, one single focus, right? I remember when I was a blue belt, I'm flexible, so I didn't wanna be a guard guy, right? Because nobody could pass my guard, I'm like, I don't wanna be a guard guy, I wanna be well-rounded, right? So I try not to be stuck in one thing and I try to experiment, right? So I would let people pass my guard so I could work on getting out of bad spots or whatever the position is. So I try to be as deep as possible, okay? Um, anything else, guys? Any questions? Did I miss something? Any details that I Just kind of went through quick? Yes. Go, me? Kush, tell me. Yeah, just because I like to see it over and over, can you show the magic trick? The magic, okay. Well, let me get a key top real quick. Yes, I'll show you the magic trick. So the magic trick is a, is a rolling bow and arrow, okay? Uh, the magic trick is Kucha's name for it. Or, you know, that's what we'll call it from now on. Okay, <laughs> so she didn't get a key top because it's a key move. So the, how this starts is oftentimes they're in a turtle position, right? And yeah. you have clock jokes, you have lots of other positions you can try and get to. Okay. So she's here. Let me turn this way. Right. So I can attack the the clock choke from here. Same grip. What I'm doing? Can you see that? Look up. Is I'm grabbing right at her collarbone essentially. Okay. Not too low. Not super deep. Right at the collarbone, kind of straight off. And it's usually pretty easy for me to get. If I can't get it, guys, what I do is I take this hand and I'll pull it open. So I have her deep. You step again. So I have her gi pulled open, and now I can get to it. Does that make sense? So I get that gi here, and now what I'm gonna do is, 
I, again, I like to stand on this foot just so that hopefully they'll bite and they'll grab that leg. That leg. If they grab that leg, I have crucifix. I have all sorts of nasty stuff. Okay? But if they don't and they're smart and they're still turtled up really tight, okay? I don't want to leave this hand reached inside. What I'm going to do is I put it on the hip right here and I pull my elbow back and down. Okay? Ooh. So if I leave it here, she'll roll me before I want to roll. Okay? So I pull it back. Okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand up and stick this foot in here. Okay? Right in there. Okay? This way. Boom. This hand, the back hand now, grabs under her leg as I roll. So turn this way. I'm going to grab right here. Okay? Relax. So I go here. This foot goes through here, and I just roll over the shoulder. Boom. And now I have the bow and arrow. Thanks, Mitch. Okay? So I'm going to do it one more time this way. Hopefully, I don't know which way it ends up. <laughs> Coming for you, coaches. <laughs> so again, I stand on the. Right. You're head. welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I got my grip through here. Right? This hand goes here to the head. This one goes here. I roll. Boom. Okay. And now hold the shoulder. Pull, and you see I have her leg. And I don't like to do new bow and arrow, guys, with this grip. I like to do it like this. You guys see what I'm doing? I underhook this, yeah. the whole leg. Because what happens is, when I'm in, when I'm in her position, go back, here. when I'm in her position, I have the bow and arrow. If I'm hurt and somebody does this to me, all I do is kick and roll. And she can, and she can get out. Okay? So what I do to mitigate some of that is I hook this leg with underhook, and now she can't get out. An important finish detail. This elbow is her way out. So I have to bring this elbow back and down. Okay? And notice, I, I, this takes a little bit of practice, but I essentially grab with like two or three fingers. Okay? So I'm grabbing like this, and then this comes back and down. Because if I grab full fist, my hand gets in the way, and it hurts my wrist, right? I have surgery on that wrist, I have a screw in there. So I essentially like hook like this, and then I can go way back and down, and now I have this super skinny line that pulls against her neck, right? So I'm just using the blade of my, of my wrist like that against her neck. So I do it like that. You're here, boom, grab that leg. I like to cross over the shoulder, you can cross over the head, whatever you like, and then this is one weird spot that I like to cross my feet in this place. Okay, this un it just adds another layer so that she can't take my legs off and unwind. Okay, so here, here, and then pull back. Okay, Kush, that answer your question about the magic trick. Good? Yeah, okay. yeah, thank you. Did I miss any questions? I, didn't, I haven't been reading yeah. the chat here. Um, Sometimes I forget where, which shoulder to roll over. Yeah, I, like the back, I like the back shoulder. If I'm choking with this hand, I like to go over the, the back shoulder just to kind of pull towards the legs. I like to roll towards the legs, right? So that that pulls their head up and back and it, it doesn't allow them as much strength to fight me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. All right. Any questions? Can you also, yeah. can you also put your top leg over her head? Or I understand why you're yeah. grabbing that arm, but if, you, if it's there, is that even worse? If I if I put it, say it again. I, I don't quite understand. Instead of grabbing just the arm, you could ah, you couldn't do that with your arm in there. I'm not Forget grabbing it. her. I'm not grabbing her arm yeah. or her. Yeah, I can put it over her head. Uh, in the end, I can also do like that helicopter choke, right? So that same position. Okay. So there's tons of submissions that I can attack with that same grip and, and just different movements of my body, okay? So of course I have, I can reach through and start working the clock choke, okay? Um, or instead of reaching through is I can take my back leg here, I stand with my front leg, take my back leg and spin here and then fall down. Remember that was, the, that was pretty violent, but I go here and now I like to, to grab an arm when I do this. So I go here, hook and then pull, okay? And now I can kick into her leg, into her neck, okay? So what that is without that grip, I'm just going here and then falling down, okay? But I need a grip here or here or something 
Because if I don't, right, let's say I don't use this arm, and I just do this, when I fall, she can roll towards me, the other way, and unwind and take that whole part. Okay? So I like to have a hook under that arm. And if I'm gonna do that, helicopter choke, if you'd call it. Okay? Questions, guys? Anything? You got it? I know it's a whole ton of stuff, All right? Hopefully, hopefully I'll get this up on YouTube if you need to watch it again or anything like that. You get a chance to. Uh, anybody that didn't get a chance? Over and over. Yeah, exactly. All right? Did I answer everybody's questions? I think we went through everything kind of fast. Hopefully, uh, I didn't really, like, you know, go deep into any particular move, but hopefully I pointed out the really important details that need to happen. Okay? Get those gloves on once in a while. Let them punch you in the face. Defend, right? Jiu-jitsu with that, okay? Guys, thanks for coming today, okay? Awesome. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out, okay? Thank you, everybody. Thank you, King, for coming, man. Wish I could see your beautiful face. All right.